They're all gonna tell you to stay with your boyfriend. You're not going to enjoy it. I don't choose to participate in underage drinking. Hi guys, my name is Michelle Reed, and if you just clicked on this video, I'm about to be a senior in college, and I go to the King's College in New York City. I know around the summertime before I started going to school for my first year, I was so nervous about so many different things, so I wanted to do this video, which is basically kind of like a survival guide, about things that I feel like you should know before you go to college your freshman year. I asked for questions on my Instagram, as always, it's at Michelle Reed, just because I wanted to kind of get a gist of what you guys actually wanted me to talk about. I've done a lot of college videos. I don't want to repeat myself. I want to answer new questions. So I figured this was the best way to do that. Let me know down below if you're going to be a freshman, what school you are going to. How do you recommend deciding a major? What if the major you spent two years working towards isn't working well? Now you need to start fresh and with a new one. So I really like this question because I want to say if you are worried about majors, if you are worried that you're going to pick the wrong thing and totally end up in the complete opposite area of what you want to be in life, don't worry. I don't think I've ever really met someone unless they're in a science or a math field that actually kind of has a job that relates to their major. I'm just a general business management degree, so I'm not like a marketing major or a PR major or social media major. But long term, I see myself doing social media marketing. Your major doesn't have to be exactly what you want to do. Obviously, if you want to be a nurse or if you want to be a doctor, if you want to be an engineer, those are things that your degree should probably orient it around. Find the general field that you would like to be in, whether that be business or math or science, and then go forward after that. Thoughts about going to college with the boyfriend back home? I think this varies from person to person. I'm not going to tell you to break up with your boyfriend. I'm not going to tell you to stay with your boyfriend. If you're close enough to make it work, I think that it's definitely possible a lot of people do it in general you change so much in college it may sound cliche but that is so true I am not the person at all that I was my senior year of high school like looking back on it I was totally totally different and I think it's hard whenever you're in a relationship with someone and you are going through all those changes make sure you talk about it beforehand make sure you're upfront with the person that you're dating and saying like hey look I might change while I'm in college and if you're not there that might be something that's difficult but if you really truly love someone and you feel that you're mature enough and that you're at the point of your life where you're not gonna change that much, I would say to go for it. How was the first day of classes and the difference coming from high school? I'm gonna insert a picture for my first day of class. I so remember taking this. First day of class was honestly really good. I go to a pretty small college, so it still felt small and tight-knit. And it was so nice in college only having like two or three classes in a day. Going from having to go to school from seven hours to probably being at school like five hours, obviously depending on your schedule, you're probably gonna be at school a lot less in college. That is so nice, but I was definitely intimidated. College classes are a lot different and depending on how big your school is, it may be more interactive and discussion based. I was definitely nervous my first day of college, but the nerves definitely do go away. Someone asked what my expectations versus reality of college were and I think I'm gonna go through a few. One, I expected that I would be eating super unhealthy. I'd be eating like pizza for dinner every single night, that kind of thing, and I would be so stressed I wouldn't have time to do anything. People handle stress different ways, obviously, but I was able to to keep eating healthy or as I did in high school. I also expected that guys were going to be a lot more mature in college and this is something I can do a whole video on. I think you have this expectation that oh like college is where people meet their future husbands that kind of thing and while I love my boyfriend and I think he is super mature and he is a man and I love him so much not all guys are like that and most of them honestly aren't. One expectation I had was that I would be too intimidated to ask professors questions. I think before going into college I thought there was this weird divide between you and your professor and you were kind of separate and you didn't interact but especially at my college that was so not true. People go into office hours all the time, people email their professors all the time, people like go over for dinner with their professors professors and the relationship between you and your professors is a lot more intimate in a way that you really are there to learn from them and they actually like to help you. How to make the best out of a college experience you weren't really expecting and she went on and talked about how she was going to a school that she didn't really expect to go to and I'm sure that's a lot of people watching this video you know maybe you didn't get into the school that you dreamed about and you're going to your second choice and you're not that excited about school. The thing about experiences is experiences are only what you make out of them. If you go into college with this attitude of this isn't where I wanna be, this is not the place for me, if you don't give it a try, 
you're not going to enjoy it. You're just not. Whether you're going to an Ivy League school and it's your dream place or you're going to community college, you can have the same college experience as someone else as long as you make it what you want it to be. For me, I'm a really quiet person. I'm really introverted. And honestly, going to college really scared me at first. But that first semester, I threw myself into everything. I joined a club. I was hanging out with people all the time, which like me now, like, oh my gosh, Michelle, I never hang out with people as much as I did then. Obviously, sticking to my morals and being wise, you guys know me. I like to keep things pretty classy. But yeah, you just gotta try things and you gotta go in like full fledged and do it because if you don't and you sit back in your room, yeah, you're not gonna like college. What do you think are the most effective ways of studying, like reading, making study guides, Quizlets, etc.? I would definitely say that making Quizlets is super duper smart. I use these in high school too. In one of my week in my life videos, I kind of talked about my method if you wanna watch it. Basically what I do for a test is I make a Quizlet and I will make like long Quizlets. I will go through it completely and then I will go through it again and write everything out. I'm someone who has to write things out to memorize them. I forgot what the name of that learning technique is. I can't just read my notes and memorize them. Sometimes you have to literally talk to yourself in your dorm. I did that. Too. I would not recommend using other people's study guides unless they're just additional things that you want to learn from. But don't just expect that someone's study guide is going to work exactly for you because chances are this person missed something. Chances are they learn differently than you. What's the biggest tip you have for keeping in touch with friends from high school? I'm going to be honest with you guys. I am not a professional at this. My only friends I really kept in close touch with is Rose and Sebastian. They're two of my best friends. But besides that, I didn't really keep up with most of my friends from high school. I think before you go to college, you have to tell yourself that that's not anything personal. People just change. They go in different environments. And sometimes Sometimes if you're feeling like things are forced between friendships, you know, what's the point of really keeping up with those? If you have a best friend that goes to another school, then that's totally understandable. Like keep up with them. FaceTime them a lot, text them a lot. But the thing is college is so overwhelming and so busy that for the most part, I think a lot of your high school friends probably won't stay super close with you, but that's okay. I don't really have any regrets. I love my friends from high school and I think you have different friends in different phases of your life, but there are a few friends that you really keep around. I'm someone who values having a small friend group and really staying in touch with them versus having like a lot of friends. She basically said that she has different morals than a lot of people at the college she's going to. She says there's a huge hookup and drug alcohol culture that she doesn't want to participate in and kind of asked for advice. And if you guys don't know me, you don't know my story. I don't choose to participate in underage drinking. I don't really choose to participate in a hookup culture. I'm saving myself for marriage. I think it's actually so easy in college not to participate in those things. Yeah, I mean, it's as simple as just saying no to those things. And if you're someone who even just being around them kind of feeds the temptation of wanting to participate in those things, then don't go, don't go to the party. Don't go hang out with that guy. But sometimes I think that you are capable enough to be able to say no to things and still go to the party or still go hang out with the guy. And if that's you, then that's you and you do it. I think you just, have to really know yourself before you go to college. I don't have any regrets from not partaking in those things in college. I'm not shaming anyone for their decisions. I'm just personally talking about mine and I'm helping this girl out by saying these things. Every time I talk about this, I always get people who kind of shame me for saying not to party or not to do this. I'm not telling anyone what to do. This is just simply my opinion. So I got a question on tips on connecting with your roommate, especially if you have never met before. I think this is the last one I'm gonna answer. So I have had three different roommates in college college and my biggest advice would be you don't have to be best friends with the people that you're rooming with and if you kind of try to force that it's probably not going to work. I think just being courteous to your roommate, you know, picking up after yourself, asking them how their day was, respecting their wishes for the room. Like if they want to go to bed at a certain time, you know, be courteous to that. Whenever you have a mutual understanding of what respect is, it makes being a good roommate a lot easier. Prioritize time to get out of your room and go do stuff with them. I think that brings a friendship to a whole different level, especially between roommates when you're not just hanging out in your room and you're actually going out. Or that first semester, whenever you're hanging out with people and invite your roommate. My roommate Lauren, my freshman year of college, we did a lot of stuff together our first semester of college because we were constantly inviting each other to things. So whenever I would go out with friends, I'd be like, hey, Lauren, you want to come with me? And we would do stuff together. And I think that's a really, really good way to A, meet people and B, be friendly to your roommate and actually incorporate them into you know your college experience. So those are the questions I'm going to answer for this video. I hope this helped you out. If you're a freshman, don't worry. You will learn new things, but like any experience, it is what you put into it to make it good. If you have any other college recommendations, leave them down below. I love you all so much, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, friends.